PK Ultra. Hi, how are ya? To begin, this is going to be a different type of video I usually don't do. It's called an iceberg video. Boiling it down, it's a chart that conveys common knowledge at the top and slowly declines into more obscure facts and theories at the bottom. On YouTube, I saw a video about a Kirby iceberg and I wanted to throw my hat into the ring. After all, it's one of my favorite series of all time. Rather than reciting his video, I took the chart he based it off of and found three others to combine and make my own iceberg for this video. Credit to these people, by the way. And with that, let's start with the ultimate Kirby iceberg explained. Level 1 I won't waste much time on common knowledge, but anyway, uh, here we go, I guess. Kirby GCN. Known as Legend of the Stars, it was a cancelled game for the Nintendo GameCube. It was widely documented. Lots of aspects of this cancelled title were implemented into Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the Wii. In an Iwata Asks interview, it actually confirms that Kirby GCN was actually three separate attempts on a Kirby game for the GameCube. Extra Mode. Also known as Extra Game in Kirby Streamland, it's a mode that can be unlocked in several Kirby games by completing the main story. Often, enemies are harder and sometimes you can play as different characters such as Meta Knight or DDD. Galactonite. Galactonite is a fan favorite character debuting as a final boss in the Meta Nightmare mode in the Kirby Superstar Ultra game. He is the greatest, most powerful warrior in the galaxy from an ancient past. Galactonite's existence is canon, however none of the events in which he has appeared are actually canon. Kirby and Meta Knight are the same species. When you defeat Meta Knight in most games, his mask breaks, revealing a face similar to Kirby's. This is just common knowledge, but it's believed they're the same species. Mario Cameo in Kirby Superstar In Superstar and Superstar Ultra, when you fight King DDD, in the crowd you can see Mario, Luigi, and a few other faces. It's kind of a nice cameo. However, the Mario and Kirby universes aren't considered canon officially. Crowned, Flowered, Program, etc. The word crowned consists of the seven first letters in the levels in Kirby's Return to Dreamland, indicating how Magalore crowned himself with the Master Crown. The levels being... Cookie Country, Raisin Ruins, Honey and Ocean, White Wafers, Nutty Noon, Egg Engines, and Dangerous Dinner. Triple Deluxe and Robobot do the same thing, but with different words. Being flowered and program. Level 2 Aeon Hero Lore Aeon Hero, <coughs> or however you say it, was one of the four heroes that battled against Void Termina, that dark god thing Highness wanted to resurrect in Star Allies. The hero was dubbed Galactonite and then sealed away by an unknown entity. His lore is pretty vague, but hopefully it's expanded upon. Kirby is a counterpart of Void Termina. Void Termina is a god of destruction in the Kirby universe. During the Void Termina fight, it manipulates itself to become a form similar to Kirby. In the pause menus during the fight, it's implied that when it's defeated, hopefully it'll reincarnate into a friend. This is further backed up in another phase during the fight, in the menus read as, The final battle at hand, Void takes his first steps towards a new age. In a place of tyrannical rage, will he find nap time, gentle breezes, Treats? He may even dream again. A dream of friends reunited. Sounds a lot like Kirby. The Void Soul menu reads as, No telling it's true, but according to ancient scrolls, Void Termino may rise in other forms depending on whether positive or negative energy is gathered. It seems this being of darkness will wander the galaxy until one day it is reborn into a new existence. When he returns, hopefully it will be as a friend. So it's heavily implied with positive energy, he'll be a being similar to Kirby, or Kirby's already that being. There's a good video explaining this theory further, so I'll probably link it. Bandana D was the Waddle D in Kirby 64. A pretty popular theory, but people theorize that the Waddle D that accompanies King DDD in Kirby 64 is the iconic Bandana D. Makes sense after all, he seems to have more of a relationship with the King than the other Ds, but it's not confirmed though. Shiverstar is a post-apocalyptic Earth. Another popular theory, Shiverstar is a world in Kirby 64 that bears a strong resemblance to the planet Earth. However, it's frozen over. It even has an orbiting moon. The planet even supported a civilization with similar buildings as we see in real life. There's a shopping mall and a factory. The boss in Shiverstar is a giant robot, fought with skyscrapers and everything in the background. Many people theorize that humans did lots of consumption and corporations got lots of power. With that power, they created giant war machines that ended up wiping out Earth. 
Dark Nebula is a form of dark matter. Dark matter is a race of beings often characterized with a single eye. Most members appear as major antagonistic forces in the Kirby games. In Kirby's Squeak Squad, Dark Nebula's behavior has a passing resemblance of Miracle Matter, the boss from Kirby 64. Dark Nebula is noted to be similar to Dark Matter, as all these beings share a shocking resemblance. Stone Forms The stone ability lets you turn into a rock. Cool. But the thing is, there's lots of easter eggs hidden in these rock abilities. There's a lot of different cameos and forms to see, so take a look at the wiki. But some notable ones are Mount Fuji, nods to previous games such as Rick, Kine, and Ku from the Dreamland games, a star block from the Kirby series, a brick from the Mario series, and 2D sprites of Kirby. There's even a HAL Laboratories logo. There's many more forms, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> you get it? Oh lord. Hispanic Meta Knight. In the Kirby anime known as Kirby Right Back At Ya, Meta Knight was given a Hispanic accent. There isn't much to say about this, but it's pretty funny. Take a listen. Look, it is fire, DDD. Our hero. I would never say that. Just send him my resume. Wow. Hmm. So you hunted down Masher with a suit and tie. Kirby Air Ride 64 Kirby's Air Ride was a cancelled Kirby game originally for the Nintendo 64. It was announced as Kirby Bowl 64 originally and it was the first Kirby game shown for the Nintendo 64, as well as one of the first games known for the system. About a year later, the game switched its name to Kirby's Air Ride and ditched the ball rolling mechanic. It seemed similar to Kirby's Dream Course, but not much information was shown. The snowboarding mechanic would soon be refined to the Kirby's Air Ride game that we know from the Nintendo GameCube. Batamon Batamon are a mysterious enemy type in Kirby's Dream Land 3. They don't really have much of a purpose, but they're notable for their resemblance similar to Kirby. Some people theorize that it's actually a Dark Matter clone of the Pink Puff himself. Meta Knight concept design shared with Morpho Knight. Since this design was featured in Meta Knight's section in a Kirby art book, many presumed that it was Meta Knight's beta design. However, in a Nintendo Dream Magazine interview, it was confirmed that this design was actually for a completely different knight that would have appeared in Kirby GCN. This design would be used for Morpho Knight and Kirby Star Allies. Kirby with a gun. In Kirby Right Back At Ya, the anime, Kirby visits a police station and accidentally fires a weapon uncontrollably. I'm not sure this is in the English translation, but it kind of makes sense that it wouldn't be, you know, firearms, but who knows. There's other references of Kirby with firearms, such as in the Kirby's Adventure Instruction Manual, where he's sporting a revolver. There's also easy ones such as Joker in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The Morpho Butterfly. In Kirby Star Allies, a butterfly interrupts a boss battle with Galactonite. It comes on the screen and absorbs Galactonite. Said butterfly is stated to have the ability to cross dimensions into other worlds. Once Galactonite is seemingly disintegrated by the butterfly and is reborn as the Knight of the Underworld, he is dubbed Morpho Knight. People believe this butterfly has been around since the dawn of the series, as butterflies appear as commonplace in cutscenes in Kirby games. Kirby Superstar Stacker Superstar Stacker was the official English name given to the puzzle game in the Kirby series. It was only released in Japan for the Nintendo Power Flash RAM service in 1998 and for the Super Famicom in 1999. It's a remake of Kirby Star Stacker and the game saw re-release in the Wii Virtual Console in 2010 and in the Wii U Virtual Console in 2013. Anime Only Abilities In the Kirby Right Back At You anime, there were some abilities that weren't in the games, such as Baton Kirby, Kabuki Kirby, Top Kirby, and Iron Kirby. To this date, they haven't been featured in any games. Crash Ability Seizure In Kirby's Adventure, when Kirby gets the Crash Ability, he bounces all over the screen at super high speeds while there's a strobe effect in place. This scene was never shown in any other game, probably to prevent epileptic seizures. Goriath is a DBZ reference. Goriath is a boss character that resembles an ape creature. Halfway through the fight, he powers up and his hair turns blonde. He also shoots energy beams. Fans of the Dragon Ball series would find similarities with Saiyans to Goriath. Saiyans are a species in the Dragon Ball series that transform into apes if they look into the moon. They also can transform into a Super Saiyan, which powers them up and gives them yellow blonde hair. The similarities are present, 
but I'm not sure if it's implied. Metroid and Kirby share the same universe. In Kirby's Dream Land 3, in order to get the true ending, Kirby has to obtain a heart for every level. In one level, Kirby must freeze a Metroid to help Samus in order to get a heart from her. This suggests that Kirby and Metroid are in the same universe and it's not necessarily a cameo. That being said, it hasn't been confirmed or denied. Kirby's Tilt and Tumble 2 Tilt and Tumble 2 would have been a sequel on the GameCube seeing its release. It would have used the Game Boy Advance as a controller with a special cartridge with motion sensors. In 2002, the development for Tilt and Tumble 2 was changed. Nintendo removed Kirby from the game and it became Rollerama. It was essentially the same project but without Kirby. After some years of development, Rollerama vanished and the project was quietly cancelled. Though there's little bits of footage found around the internet of this project. Ultra Cutter Ability Inspecting the game files of Kirby's Return to Dream Land reveals an unused ability known as Super Cutter. It was more than likely cut due to the striking similarity to the Ultra Sword found in the actual game. There was also a Super Spark ability icon found in the game files, however it was probably canned for the Flare Beam ability. Kirby of the Stars Pilot Episode Kirby of the Stars, or known as Hoshi no Kabi, is an unaired prototype of Kirby right back at ya. It's not narrated or includes voice acting. It was created in 2000 and was licensed under Hell Laboratory and Nintendo. You can find the 4 minute pilot on YouTube but the general synopsis is that Kirby crash lands and meets an ugly concept design of Tiff. They become friends and King DDD tries to kill Kirby as he usually does. Near the end, Kirby fights some monsters along with Mennonite only to realize it was a nightmare. I never saw this pilot, so it was actually kind of interesting to watch. Water Kirby's First Appearance Water Kirby's first appearance wasn't actually in Return to Dream Land. Water Kirby debuted in the 51st episode of Kirby Right Back At Ya. The designs are also remotely similar as well. Level 4 Meta Knight secretly indulges in a parfait every night. According to the item's description in the Kirby Cafe menu, Meta Knight secretly indulges in a parfait every night. However, this isn't shown in game. Also, there's a little bit of art showing him off with a funny hat. Alcohol references. In the Kirby series, there's a few references related to booze. For example, in Kirby Superstar, the icon for Mix was Kirby preparing a martini. In Kirby Right Back At Ya, Mix was referenced in the episode called A Blockbuster Battle. When Kirby decides to work at a bar, he's shown preparing a mixed drink while wearing a green bow tie. However, the scene isn't in the English dub. Lastly, the most evident one is in Kirby Superstar Stacker. If the player gets a high enough score in challenge mode, Kain is shown drinking out of a tall neck bottle, presumably in a tavern or club. The Sunken Halberd. In Revenge of Meta Knight, the game mode shown in Kirby Superstar Ultra, Kirby takes down the Halberd, Meta Knight's ship, at the end of the story, and it sinks into the ocean. In Kirby Squeeze Squad, this is referenced in Secret Sea, as you can see a sunken Halberd in the ocean. Hear Bell Cut from Return to Dream Land, Hearbell is a flower-like enemy that latches onto Kirby, probably in a similar fashion to the enemy known as Pacto. Magalore and Medu's Similarities Magalore from Return to Dream Land shares some similarities to the enemy type Madu from Kirby's Dream Land 3. There isn't much to say about this, but maybe there's a theory about it. Maybe Madu's are followers of Magalore, but that doesn't make much sense. A safer theory is probably that Madu was the inspiration of Magalore's design. Walf Unused Design in Kirby's Return to Dream Land, the turtle-like enemy known as Welf has some alternate designs found in the files of the game. Compared to the final design, the early one's missing the blue cap on its head. It has a lighter shell and a simpler eye. Scrapped Superstar Abilities For the Japanese version of Kirby's Dream Collection for the Wii, concept art could be found for scrapped abilities found in Kirby Superstar. The first scrapped ability is Card. A revamped version of this would be found in Kirby's Squeak Squad. The next ability is Flower. It would enable Kirby to plant flowers on enemies' heads. Kirby's also sporting a bow. It's probably a reference to Lip from the game Panel de Pawn. Lastly, there's Mantle. It gave Kirby a cape to attack with. There's also some early designs of Wing Kirby and Fighter Kirby, originally known as Rush. Mike and Crash Hats Throughout the series, Mike and Crash abilities didn't have a hat. It was only indicated through the HUD that you had said powers. In Kirby's Return to Dreamland, both powers got cosmetic changes. 
Level 5 Dark Trio's Names in Kirby 64 In the intro of Kirby 64, three Dark Matter enemies are seen chasing Ribbon, but did you know that these three characters actually have names? In the guidebook, translated as Nintendo Official Guidebook, Kirby the Star 64, the names can be discovered. Inside the guide, there's descriptions of the cutscenes. Translated, the first one says, Waddle Dee found a sparkling crystal. Just as he picked it up, his body was taken over by Dark Rimuru. The second translation reads as, Near the lake, Adeline picks up a crystal. Just then, Dark Rimura emerges from the canvas. Finally, the last translation says, King DDD the Great found a crystal on the roof of his castle. But then, Dark Rimuru appeared and took over his body. Shout out to Kai alone on Reddit for these translations. I probably butchered the names, but yeah, I'll, I'll link the post. Snorkel Removal My guess for this one is that in Kirby 64, Kirby doesn't have a snorkel as he does in Kirby Superstar. The reason's unclear, maybe it's hardware limitation or the developer simply overlooking it. Krako recalls every battle with Kirby. The boss enemy known as Krako remembers every encounter with the pink puff from previous games. In the pause menu of Kirby Fighters Deluxe, it proves this. The menu reads as... You! Do you think I'd forget? The time you smashed into me with your high jump? That time I was betrayed by helpers? Or the time I was replaced with that mechanical cloud? <laughs> There's something in my eye. Krako has existed since ancient times. Krako apparently has existed since ancient times. In Kirby Planet Robobot, the pause menu for Hollow Krako reads as this. This hologram was created by analyzing data of the cloud monster who is believed to be inhabiting the skies of this plane since ancient times. It excels at electrical attacks charged by the atmosphere. 255 lives in Amazing Mirror. Kirby can have up to 255 lives, however, the UI will only display up to 99. This is because 255 is the largest number that can be stored in a single byte of data. Haltman's Scream during Star Dream OS In Robobot, in a last-ditch effort to stop Kirby, Haltman tries to connect himself to the mother computer. Susie interrupts him and accidentally breaks the controller which keeps the computer under control, resulting in a Haltman being possessed by the machine. Said machine actually had a Nova Star inside it, and in the true arena, Haltman's soul was deemed unnecessary for the machine to continue functioning, so it begins to erase it. During the process of being deleted, he laments over himself, questioning why he reactivated such a terrible machine. He slowly realized that he wished to see his daughter one last time. During the OS core phase of the battle, Haltman could be heard crying out in agony as each pillar is destroyed. In the second phase, it's stated in the pause description that all traces of Haltman, including his memory and soul, have been completely deleted, suggesting that Kirby had unknowingly helped with the erasure of Haltman. Kirby games, am I right? Rated E for everyone. Anyway, next one. Poyo is a marketing tactic. In Kirby Right Back At Ya, Kirby would communicate with a series of baby-like sounds and his signature Poyo sounds. Prior to this in Kirby Media, Kirby was portrayed as capable of speech. Some theorized it's a marketing tactic, but I don't really buy it. Kirby's Wife In Kirby's biggest case, a German comic published by Nintendo Power in 1996, Kirby had a wife named Susie. These comics had a more mature tone and you'd see this further down the iceberg. These comics aren't canon, but it's pretty funny to me. Kid Kirby Kid Kirby was a cancelled title that would have seen release on the SNES. It was developed by what would be Rockstar, the people that did Red Dead Redemption in Grand Theft Auto. The game would have followed a younger Kirby that sported a little curl of hair and also slept in a crib. Familiar sights such as King DDD, Bronto Burt, and the Star Rod, along with the Fountain of Dreams, can also be seen. However, the rest of the material for this game is completely unique. Kirby Vocal Album Kirby of the Stars, The Story of the Dream Fountain is an official Japanese-only soundtrack for Kirby's Adventure. 
The album consists of vocal versions of existing tracks along with original works. The vocals were performed by Mako Miyata. It's her only album credit to date. Here's a few snippets of my favorite tracks. Level 6, Kirby Cusses in Official Media. In the German Nintendo Power, Kirby Cusses, and I just found that kind of funny. There's a few other instances where Kirby Cusses, but it's mostly found in comics. The Master Crown is sentient. In the Megalore Soul Battle, there's a quote that says that it is no more than a manifestation of the crown itself. The idea is supported by the fact that Megalore actually didn't put on the crown, but rather it floated onto it. While resting on Megalore's head, you could actually see the crown moving around on its own. Perhaps it's trying to possess him. The fact that Landia was able to use the crown is probably because he's the protector of the crown. While Megalore's dark intentions probably manifested and possessed the crown itself. I don't really know though. 11 years of development. The phrase is pretty vague by itself, but in an Awata Asks post, it shows that Kirby's Return to Dream Land was actually in development for 11 years. This is referencing the fact that it's actually a successor of the Kirby GCN build in the three attempts prior to moving to the Wii. Superstar NES Prototype. There's very little information on the Kirby Superstar prototype on the NES. Supposedly, it was only shown to HAL internally and was meant for testing primarily. What we can see though are sprites for the NES build, for Top, Fighter, and the Cutter abilities. Nightmare is Immortal. In the Japanese version of the anime's last episode, Nightmare says the following lines to Kirby while he's exiting the fortress. True to my name, I am but a dream that lives in your heart, therefore I am immortal. For as long as there's fear in your heart, I will someday return. These lines were edited out of the English dub. I'm almost positive the show is a canon, but it makes me wonder if this applies to the games as well. Highness <sighs> Threat Before the battle with Highness and Kirby's star allies, he goes off on a tangent, exclaiming one final threat. In the international releases, he shouts to Kirby, Please disappear forever, but in the original Japanese version, he shouts to Kirby, Please die, die for our god. This was altered out for obvious reasons, and also probably to cut down on the cultish tones. The Escargoon Squad Skeleton In the Kirby anime, an oddly humanoid skeleton with its arms chained up on the walls can be found inside King Dedede's dungeon during the flashback in the episode. It seems to be wearing knight armor, and its presence isn't even acknowledged in the dub. Robobot ROM Leak In late April 2016, Kirby Planet Robobot was leaked online. This ROM dump included full localization, so spoilers were popping up even before the US could get their hands on the game. I didn't know about this, so at least that was a W for me. What is kinda interesting to me though is ROM dumping of 3DS games during that time. Limited Edition Original Kirby Game Boy Apparently, it turns out there was a rare pink original Game Boy that was a part of a mail-in sweepstakes in the UK for a store called Jacob's Bakery Limited. There were only 25 units given out. One went up on eBay, however, the person took it down. A person named Evan Butler managed to capture some screenshots of the console and documented it. Barack Obama In Kirby's Dream Collection for the Wii, President Barack Obama was referenced in the history portion of the software. That's basically it. Wait, does that mean Obama's canon in the Kirby universe? Level 7 Kirby discovers a body This isn't very graphic, but it could be slightly disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised, I suppose. 
Yet again, for the German Kirby comic for Nintendo Power, known as Kirby's Biggest Case, Kirby and King DDD discover a body of a human woman. It's honestly kind of unsettling, I wasn't really expecting this. The fact that it's realistic compared to the cartoony style of Kirby is actually kind of weird. Magalore screams Kirby's name, an unused sound clip. In Kirby's Return to Dreamland, there's some unused audio clips when you defeat Magalore. They sound like he's screaming out Kirby's name. Take a listen. Yeah! It's unknown if it's intended to sound like Magalore screaming out Kirby's name. Marx and Magalore know each other. There's some dialogue in the games where Magalore actually says that Kirby is a known hero where he's from. Magalore mentions that he actually knows someone that Kirby has stumbled upon, and more than likely have fought each other. When Marx is defeated, he just floats around in space. Maybe Magalore came in contact with him. Both of these characters betray Kirby in a similar way and it's honestly kind of hard to ignore the similarities. However, none of this information is confirmed, it's just speculation at this point. The Waddle Dee Hive Mind Theory To be honest, I only heard about this while I was researching for this video, and I'm not sure if it makes too much sense. So, uh, yeah. Maybe it's just the fact that the Waddle Dees bend over backwards for the king for no apparent reason. I don't really believe this one. Kirby Family Kirby Family was a program intended to release in Japan for the Game Boy Color in 2001, but was cancelled soon after its announcement. Kirby Family was a collection of 32 preset patterns of characters from Kirby 64, one transmitted by the Game Boy Color to a special embroidery machine manufactured by Jaguar. The pattern selected would be reproduced on a cloth. It kind of reminds me of the Game Boy printer in a way. The software and the embroidery machine were showcased in Nintendo Space World 2001, but the plans to sell it outside of the event for 6800 yen in 2001 was scrapped. However, the final build of the game was leaked in September of last year. Star Dream Concept Art Star Dream from Kirby Robobot had some concept art floating around the internet. Some of these designs are pretty interesting. The top right one actually looks like a mechanical version of Dark Nebula. Maybe a focus on Dark Matter and Dark Nebula were actually considered for Planet Robobot. The Jamba Heart and Artificial Hearts Jamba Hearts and Star Allies appear to be amalgamations of large amounts of negative energy and darkness. The shards are able to possess victims along with corrupting them. These hearts are also the vessel that contain Void Termina. One thing to notice is that the Jamba hearts resemble the Star Dream OS heart in Kirby Robobot. It makes you wonder, was Haltman trying to create artificial Jamba hearts? Their properties are also pretty similar too. As the controller is broken, Haltman loses control and gets possessed by the machine. The Brawl Trophy is a remain of Kirby GCN. The Golem Trophy from Super Smash Bros. Brawl is actually a remnant of Kirby GCN as few screenshots of the game are actually shown using this model. Susie emits footsteps. In Kirby Star Allies, Susie emits footsteps despite floating. That's basically it. Kibi. Kibi is a member of the Kirby species that only appears in Kirby's Dream Course. He's just a yellow Kirby and hasn't had any appearances since. It's believed that Kibi's color is a reference to the fact that Shigeru Miyamoto actually wanted Kirby to be yellow. This character is different from the yellow Kirby from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror in Smash Bros. Color Alts. Kirby and Earthbound Lastly, Kirby can be seen in the debug menu of Earthbound. This is because Earthbound was made in HAL Labs. Well, I guess that's it. This iceberg took lots of time to research, however, it was pretty fun to delve into the weird aspects of Kirby. If you got this far, thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. I'm excited to see if the Kirby series ever expands on these points on the iceberg, but we all can agree on the surface, Kirby games are cute and cuddly. However, the endings are the polar opposite.